Fluorine-18 is an isotope that decays to an isotope of oxygen by the emission of a beta plus particle. Complete the nuclear equation for this decay, including all the particles involved. Okay, this kind of feels like chemistry, but it's also physics. So let's look at the process. So decays to oxygen. So I'm just going to write here oxygen. And he said, Miss, I don't remember oxygen got how many protons. I don't take chemistry. That's okay. We will find out other ways to think of that. So what we do know this is in physics, you need to know what is a beta particle, beta plus to be specific. It's basically a positive electron. So beta plus particle, they have a, they have a, a, a particular nucleon and proton number that you need to include in these kind of reactions. So it's a plus one and a zero. So then you can work backwards. What plus one is nine? Eight, no? Eight plus one is nine. All right. Plus zero should be 18. So there should be no change. So that's your oxygen isotope. Okay, uh, we are missing something though. For beta decays, you need to also include this thing called an anti-neutrino. So you can write uh, this symbol, gamma. Or you could mention the word uh, neutrino. Not anti-neutrino, oh, sorry, just neutrino. Uh, you do not have to write the nuclear and proton number because it's zero, 0, but if you want to, sure. You won't be deducted marks for it, so I'm going to put this in brackets. Okay, so three marks, wow! One for oxygen, one for beta, if you didn't put the negative, uh, sorry, you didn't put the positive, that's okay. And one for your neutrino, either the symbol or the word of it. So... Why, how this fluorine can suddenly become oxygen? Uh, it's because in this fluorine nucleus, a quark changes flavor. Oh, I like this physics term. Changes flavor during the decay. What is this change of flavor? So you notice what's different between the fluorine and oxygen? Is this proton number. Somehow the proton number has decreased by one. But the nucleon number remains the same. So what you need to know is during a beta decay, beta plus decay in the nucleus of fluorine a proton actually transforms into a neutron because of a flavor change <laughs> the flavor here actually refers to the quark flavor so a proton inside a proton you can break into three proton got three friends it is called they have the names up up and down so this will be like U, U, and D. A neutron is up, down, down. So who is the flavor that changed? You see the flavor? This one, one of the up quark became a down quark. So that's the flavor change. So we say up quark to down quark. That's the flavor. These are called flavors. So B1. Okay, next part, a hadron has a charge of 2e and negative 2e. State and explain whether the hadron is a meson or a baryon. Oh my goodness, all these terms. Uh, so a quick note, revision also. What, what, what are these terms? These are like classification names. Uh, you know, you have like animal kingdom, plant kingdom, but in physics, we go particle kingdom. In the hadron kingdom though, there is two classes. One is a baryon class. One is a meson. Actually, I'm going to write it aside. I need more space for this. Okay, hadron kingdom. Just type a particle, a group of particles. Mesons or mesons are the particles that have two quarks inside of them. Two friends. Baryons are the particles that have three quarks inside of them, held together, and they form a particle by themselves. Okay, so this hadron is just a name for particles that are made out of smaller particles quarks so back to this how do we know hmm. you need to think of what are the combination of quarks that can give 2e so for example back to this uh, let's look at the up quark and down quark so up quark up 
has a charge of 2 over 3. Down quark has a charge of negative 1 over 3. I'm going to think of NT up. NT up has a charge of negative 2 over 3. Just NT the charge. NT down has a charge of positive 1 over 3. So how on earth can we get a total hadron of positive 2e? Oh, sorry, negative 2e. Let's try for a meson. I need the charge to be very negative. Oh. So maybe I have... Um, let's make it as negative as you can. NT up. NT up. So then the charge will be negative 2 over 3. Negative 2 over 3. Or plus negative 2 over 3. Means the biggest I can go is negative 4 over 3. I can't quite reach negative 2. Mm. What if I do it for the baryons? I do 3 NT up. So this is like... Dah, dah. Cannot. Up, up, up. Uh, then I'll have negative 2 over 3, negative 2 over 3, negative 2 over 3. Needs a total charge of this particle, uh, triple up, NT up, will be negative 6 over 3, <gasps> which is negative 2. That's what we're looking for. So with a meson, it's impossible to reach such a big charge, but with a baryon, three of them, if they have negative 2 over 3 charge as their quarks, you could reach the charge of negative 2e for the whole particle. So, hmm, how do we explain that in English, what we just did? Uh, I guess what we can say, that We talk about mesons, we could talk about how mesons don't, cannot reach that, but let's, let's say first, we think it's a baryon. So the hadron particle is in the class of a baryon. I state the answer first. This answer, what is the class? Baryon. Why? Uh, so because, there's two reasons I could mention here. Firstly, I could talk about meson. Meson can only have a charge of 0 or plus minus 1e. You can't have like 1 over 3 charge, 4 over 3 charge, so just now we did this 4 over 3, uh, we don't have fraction of charge, we just have charge, it has to be a whole number, negative 2, negative 3, so forth and so forth. So mesons can't quite hit negative 2 over 3. Uh, you can also mention that, so it has to be a, a baryon, because baryons, baryon, Largest quark charge is negative 2 over 3 or positive minus 2 over 3. So you can have 3 of them to give 2e. Mm. So a triple up ding, 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 gives negative 2e. Wow, we have to work backwards, man. Okay, so if you say it's a baryon, that's actually a uh, one mark only. That's the A1 mark. But you need to explain either one of these will give you an M1 mark. So you unlock the A mark. And okay, so the last part. Oh, we can't give the answer already. State the possible quark composition for the hadron. So the easiest one is what we already mentioned. Give a triple up. Wait, triple up, U, U, U. So you can say... U, 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 or if you want to be more detailed, you can say 3 NT up quarks inside that hadron particle. So this one is a B1 mark, just to tell them what you think is in the particle. Okay, so that's particle physics in revision. Sure you know, what you need to memorize though is the charge of the at least the up down and top bottom charge sometimes they may ask us about that okay yeah but that's all for this particle physics question